Hello, this video is going to show you how to turn off the LAN security checks, UDP block flood, which is default by some Netgear routers. Uh, this is the FBS 318N and it is set default. can cause some problems with your network if it, since it has a limit of only 25 connections per client, which um, is UDP and can affect um, response on your web page browsing go to security then attack checks then land security checks block UDP flood and uncheck that and press apply if you want to go ahead and complete complete that, complete that setting but what I want to do is show you what's happening right now with the web pages on this network you're not going to see my uh, mouse because I'm remote on log me in it doesn't record that but I'm going to click on some of these pages and give you an idea What was happening was some of the pages were timing out. Uh, users would click on a web page and then it would not respond. They would press again and then it would uh, go ahead and come through. But it was just intermittent, um, random uh, issues on all the computers on the network. with modern browsers connecting and network resources connecting on a network uh, 25 uh, connections UDP limit is not going to work so there are some ways you can limit the connections but there's another tab in there on the uh, uh, Netgear router which I'll show at this end of this video Now I'm going to show you uh, in a bit how we're going to uh, turn off that setting and then demonstrate how much better it's going to get to these web pages. As you see, it's been very slow. We're going to turn off the uh, block UDP flood right now and then press apply. And this is on a LAN network. And then the operation is going to say succeeded. And now we're going to go ahead and try browsing some of these web pages and see what happens. Again, you're not going to see my cursor because I'm on I'm recording this on a logmin remote session on the network. Websites are coming up pretty good now. We're getting uh, responses that almost seem instant. There you see it's unchecked. I'm going to search for another item like cars. Just so you know we're getting different different search, different websites. So nothing's cached. I 
Okay, the video is coming to an end here. I'm going to have another little video I'm going to tag on to the end of this that's going to show you how to do the session limits. Kind of gives you an idea what you can do to limit the sessions on your network. Logging out here. And then this next video clip is going to show um, how to go to the session limit. And you're going to be able to set some settings so you can limit the sessions so you don't uh, have a client using too many sessions. Enable and session limit will disable UDP flood option in the attack checks page. You can go by percentage of max sessions. And you can set the number of sessions. And then if you go into help, you'll actually find out here that there's some help everywhere in the Netgear routers which will tell you what each of these options do. And then if you have questions, you can always call Netgear. If you're still under support or you're still within the one year limit, you can ask them and they'll help you with some of these things. But this should get you running if you had the same issue. And anyway, I appreciate you watching the video and hope you have a great day. Thank you very much.